Hello, in this video, we will see how we can download and install FFMPEZ on our Windows computer. So at first we need to go google.com and once we are in the google.com, then we need to type FFM, there will be 2F, then MPEZ, this thing, and then we'll find the FFMPEZ uh, website is there. We just need to click here to access this website and here you'll find the download uh, button to download uh, this software I'm going to click this download button and very shortly it will bring this page I'm going to install it on my Windows computer so we have to choose this Windows and once we choose Windows after clicking we'll see two options are there I'm going to download the, this version Windows builds by this this company name suppose something like that I'm going to click here and then it is bringing this window and from here we have to come to the latest version and here I'm seeing there are a couple of files are there and these are the different format and for Windows I'm going to use the Windows 64 bit because my computer is Windows 64 bit uh, that's why I'm going to use this one this latest version and just click here and it will be downloaded very shortly so I'm going to download it on my downloads folder and then I'm going to press this save button and it will be downloaded shortly so it downloaded right now and then I'm going to minimize this thing then I'm going to open the download location and here I'm seeing that this software has been downloaded we just need to right click and then you have to choose extract all and then it will be extracted here so we can cancel it we can extract different way right click and then extract uh, all then this location also uh, okay uh, let's do it in this way it will be easier then extract it will be extracted in this location it will take few seconds to extract everything and once it is extracted it will open in a new fo folder basically or new window not folder so i'm going to close this window and this is the uh, extracted uh, files which we just get and uh, extracted from the download file i'm going to double click to open it and here I'm seeing a couple of things are there we have to choose the bin folder we just need to double click and then we'll find inside this bin there are three things are there three files basically now i'm going to open a new window and then i'm going to open the c drive here i need to uh, put the path basically of that uh, software or exe so i'm going to click uh, new and then i'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to type the folder name is like FFMPEG and then I'm going to hit enter key so that the folder name will be like that then double click to open it right now it is empty so what I need to do we need to copy these three things or we can move these three things to here and then we can uh, delete the other things because we don't need it anymore so I'm going to click here downloads and this thing we don't need I'm going to delete it and also I'm going to delete the other thing also the zip file and anyway, I'll, I'll delete the letter I'm not, I'm not going to show that thing so I'm going to minimize it and now uh, this is the location where we have the exe file now we just need to copy the path right click and then copy so I just copied the path now on the search box just start typing environment and if I edit the uh, system environment variables are there we just need to click here and it will be open like this thing from here we have to choose the environment variable uh, this option I'm going to click here and it will bring this thing we have to choose path so this is the path we can double click and then it will bring like this thing and then just click new and then paste that path which we copied okay like this and then uh, just press uh, there will be another uh, slash and then press ok button okay then just uh, click the close ok button to close it and then ok button now let's test it so i'm going to open corn prompt so this is the corn prompt i'm going to open it and then here we just need to type the command ffmpez and if the it is working properly then we'll see this type of output so that's it guys in this way we can easily download and install and finally we can configure the ffmpez on our windows 11 computer Thank you guys for watching the video.